This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Pat Evans back in the studio with me. You've joined us several times during COVID over Zoom, so it's so nice to have you back in the studio. Thank you for having me. Now, April is Parkinson Awareness Month, and you are a local advocate for Parkinson's. So let's talk about what's going on for the month of April. Let's talk about what's going on with Parkinson's. Lots of changes, lots of data coming out too. Yeah, a new study came out last December that really blew a lot of the ideas about how many people out of have, who have Parkinson's out of the water. Um, we always had realized, and have, for some time, we've been talking about the population doubling by, tw by uh, 2031. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it just is, it, it's, it's so grown so much since it was first discovered that it, it's, it's it, the fastest growing neurological condition in the world, and it's the, probably the most expensive disease to have. In, in Canada, it, it's costing $1.2 billion for people with Parkinson's to support people with Parkinson's hospital hospitalizations, uh, all sorts of things. So it's a huge expenditure. But this new study showed that in fact it's actually 50% higher than that, than we even thought. And this area, because we have a large percentage of seniors, the highest in one of the highest in Ontario, um, we should, and because we are associated with pesticides, farming, uh, agriculture, rural community, uh, well water use, um, which has been connected with Parkinson's, we should have an incredible number of people being diagnosed with Parkinson's. I don't see that necessarily. Um, either people are reluctant to talk about it, to get diagnosed, don't think they can do anything about it. I'm not sure. It takes a long time too. Well, the problem is you have it 20 years, 15 or 20 years mm -hmm. before you get the motor symptoms. And the earlier you catch it, the better people do. Um, because then you can uh, get the medication that you need uh, in order to be able to exercise and have your body moving properly. You can um, uh, get the diet you need, get the support and the education you need. Uh, just get the uh, people, 40% of people have depression, anxiety, or apathy. So if you have depression, anxiety, and apathy, do you really want to get the help that you need? Do you, you know, you probably many men uh, particularly, they just sit in their chairs and they, they let the world go by. And it's, and as a result, people end up in hospital, they end up um, uh, developing dementia, um, they, they, they end up in nursing homes far sooner than they, sh than they should. And as I said in, when I um, started talking about it, I have been to so many funerals in the last couple of years, and I think in many cases, if people had had the support they need and the diagnosis earlier, the outcome may not have been the same, or it may have been delayed quite a bit. And, and like I've known you for a few years now too, and, and uh, you had Parkinson's when I met you a few years ago too, but you're one of the healthiest people I know. You, you eat right, you exercise so much, and you've always been an advocate for that. Well, I, I, I wish I could say so much. I know people that exercise more than I do, but yes, I try, I mean, the thing is, if you don't do something, then you know the result. And so it motivates you to know. I mean, a lot of people are very depressed and, and um, anxious and upset when they find out they get Parkinson's. Um, I don't have, I didn't have a diagnosis of, you know, with mental health issues, which, which is a big advantage. But I just, I guess I always felt, well, um, I, I'm going to deny that it's going to get worse. And it has progressed. I mean, I have to take more medication. I find that um, when I don't, when I, when I, in my off period, I, my, <clears throat> my, my posture's more stooped. I, I can't move as well. Um, so it has progressed. But, you know, I think that there, you can do things to live well and to get, and to be well. And, um, and uh, I think once people understand that, and that's why April Awareness Month is so important. To, to, to understand that there is life after Parkinson's. It's not a death sentence. You can do better, and, but you need the support. You need a good neurologist. You need a good family physician. You need a, a multidisciplinary team, hopefully around you, which is hard to get, but a physiotherapist. You need a good, sometimes a speech and language pathologist, sometimes a social worker, or a, a psychiatrist. Uh, you, know, you need different people to support you and a family that supports you. And education, and you'll you'll do better in the long run. It, it's it's like they say, I have Parkinson's. It doesn't have me. That's how, how That's I hear exactly it. Exactly it. Yeah. And the problem is that everybody with Parkinson's is totally different. Mm -hmm. So you can't 
you if you see somebody else with Parkinson's and you think, well, that's how I'm going to end up, you're likely mistaken because your issues are going to be different or you may not even have those issues at all. So it, it really is an important thing to understand and that's why April Awareness Month is so important, just so that you can talk about it. And, and like I, something I'd, I'd like to talk about, you, you sent me stats, some, some statistics. Canada, and you mentioned earlier, Canada is one of the highest rates of Parkinson's disease in the world. In the world. Is, do you think it's because we have so many people here, or is it? Perce it's percentage-wise. Percentage, yeah, really? percentage-wise, we have a higher percentage of people. They don't really know. Um, they don't know uh, if, it, if it's related to the climate, to vitamin D, to, uh, but I mean, certainly aging uh, is, a, is a factor. I mean, age, the aging population is one of the reasons why it's going up so much around the world. But Canada, and even more than the United States, has something that that is happening that we don't understand. Whether it's, it's uh, we have no idea. We really, 15%, 10 or 15% is genetic. But that's pretty small. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there's a there's a, a th it's thought that there's a combination of environmental factors and aging, and we don't really know much more than that. Well, so well part of the awareness too I know happens in September. You uh, have been organizing. You and Gail have been organizing the super walk that's been going on in Perth. You're looking for some help for some people to help take over the organization part of it. Yeah, Gail and I have stepped back uh, from the super walk. Um, and part of the reason is, is because we really want to focus, I, well, I particularly want to focus on um, trying to get better services for people with Parkinson's in this area. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, they are looking for someone to, uh, Parkinson Canada is looking for people who would like to uh, uh, volunteer to organize the Superwalk this year. Um, uh, and if, if hopefully they will, because it's been a fabulous, um, awareness opportunity. I mean, we had five people show up last year who were looking for help, who just didn't know where to turn. They were either on a waiting list, couldn't get diagnosed, uh, couldn't get their, their, their primary care physician to even accept the fact that they thought they had Parkinson's. So, you know, it's a, it's a tremendous awareness activity. Uh, so it's sad if it won't happen again. But on the other hand, uh, it's important that we have uh, resources here because we have desperate need in this area for more comprehensive uh, care and you know in the long run if we can get that multidisciplinary approach um, it's going to cost a lot less money it's going to cost the medical system a lot less money because people won't end up in the hospital right 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 now you are doing some awareness too with uh you're going to be selling, I believe it's tulips? We are selling tulips. tulips yes. We're selling tulips, yes. We'll be at three independent uh, stores at, in Carleton Place. It, three independent grocers, Carleton Place, Smith Falls, and Perth. And uh, we usually sell out fairly quickly. So um, if, you, if, you're, uh, if you're wanting one, Gemmels actually uh, helps us uh, by getting them. And uh, we're very grateful to Gemmels Flores. Mm -hmm. and, um, so if, you, if you're interested in, in having something to brighten up your spring just before Easter, uh, then we'll be at those three independent I, re I remember you sold out quite quickly the last mm -hmm. time you did this, for sure, too. So that is on April 1st. Mm -hmm. That's April 1st. So anybody this, seeing the show before yeah. April 1st, oh, you still are available. Right. Yep. Anybody yep. afterwards. Yep. Uh, yeah. And the other thing is, too, if they want to contribute, I mean, mm -hmm. flowers are nice, but if they want to help people with Parkinson's and they want to make a donation, uh, we're, we're now available to accept donations um, through the Perth Community F uh, Foundation, and uh, they will get a tax receipt um, if, if, they, if they give them out over $20. So it would be fabulous if they want to show their support and they, can, they can't get the tulips, that they make a donation. We'd be happy to accept that. And we've set up a board to uh, look at how we're going to use that money in the area. So. And I just had somebody here from the Perth Community Foundation a couple of weeks ago too, and she's got an office in, in Perth too. Mm -hmm. And I, I found her on Facebook, so she's got lots of ways to get a hold of oh, her yeah, as well too. Yeah, so. Yeah. so that's how people would make a donation. That's how people could make a donation. Local. Yes, and keep here. it local. All right. Well. I thank you very much for everything you do for people with Parkinson's. Uh, you're such a great advocate for others, and, and you're going through the process as well, too. So uh, it's just amazing what you do. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for having me today. So, Pat Evans, our local advocate for Parkinson's. Uh, if you see this before April 1st, get out and get your, your, uh, your tulips at Barnaby's. 
Barnaby's and, and Mitchell's and uh, Andress. Andress. And get out there early. Independent grocers. Get out Great. there early. They're gone quick. Great. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Pat.